uh install the pink teleporter there we go we have a teleporter from here go all the way back to our ranch it's perfect we now never have to oh god this is so nice Hey guys, Sushi here, and welcome back to Slime Rancher. We're starting today off in the lab um, where we do all of our cool slime experiments and we basically get to build a bunch of stuff. Uh, we haven't managed to build too much throughout this series because we need a lot of these things, uh, these these resources over here, not the plots, but all of this stuff. And it's been kind of hard to get come by when we haven't put too much effort into the lab sort of stuff. So now that we've kind of explored the entirety of the map for the most part, uh, except for the vaults that got opened up, but uh, I did a little bit of research and we shouldn't be going to those yet until we've done some other stuff anyway. So we're not going to worry about the vaults for a couple of episodes. Right now I want to focus on the lab. I want to focus on getting ourselves some more lab resources. Um, and uh, getting some teleporters going because it is such a pain to get anywhere on the map. Um, especially if we wanted to go to the glass desert and stuff. So um, I've uh, managed to... Actually, I'll show you guys quickly what I've done. Um, I just put a bit of effort getting another... Getting like this whole phosphor thing done. I mixed them with tabbies. Um, so I basically just... Been, we got tabbies phosphors pinks and rocks uh like the four basic kind of plots all the other plots are like in other parts of our ranch but i put these guys here because we're not going to be really selling these guys the rest we can all sell for money these ones are purely to kind of fuel our lab so i put them right here and uh so yeah i've got a cuberry farm for the phosphors and i have a heartbeat farm over here for the rocks now what i'm actually going to do is grab one of these i'm glad one of them grew um, and we're actually going to be setting another heartbeat farm over here. And the reason for that is, uh, we tend to need more pink slimes than anything else, um, for the lab, or more pink slimes than, like, any other plorts, any, uh, more pink plorts, so, um, I want to grow more heartbeats, so we're constantly feeding these guys, so we are getting, uh, a lot of pink plorts coming in, because, um, it just, waiting on this to grow doesn't seem to be getting us enough plorts. Um, let's just take all of these. Um, and as you can see, we do have, um, I think this was a dr no wait, this was an apiary and this is a drill. So I actually made these two and planted them here and they're both ready to collect, which is awesome. Um, so we'll see what we'll be able to get, what we will be able to get done, uh, this episode. Uh, but let's check out what we got from these. Ooh, I need some deep brine. I haven't been able to get some deep brine. I did some research, um, on, on how to get. So it's like certain things. Ah, uh, hexacomb is good and buzz wax is also good. These are things that um, we need. And uh, yeah, I did a bit of research on like where to kind of get, you know, sometimes you need to put the drill in another area. Um, I've just looked up here. So we want deep brine. Oh, okay. We do. Okay. Because this doesn't count as the dry reef. So we need to put a drill in the dry reef, which is like just outside our farm, basically just outside our ranch. So if we want to make another pump, oh, we can make that easy. We can make, we can make two of them actually. Let's make two. Let's make it even faster. We're gonna get even more material. So now that we've kind of got these plots coming in, it's gonna be a lot easier to make a bunch of this stuff and uh, just plant them everywhere. So we've got all of these resources coming in and we're gonna be able to move along pretty quickly after that. Um, hopefully at least, you know, plant a lot of teleporters everywhere. Um, we're gonna want, I'm gonna maybe look at making a Gordo snare this episode. Now we did get, uh, where can we plant this over here? Um, we did get a Gilded Ginger the other episode, um, but unfortunately we cannot use it yet to get a Gold uh, Gordo because uh, apparently we need to have a better Gordo Snare. Right now we have like a, a Novice Gordo Snare, I think it's called, or something like that, and we need a Master one to be able to trap a, um, a Gold Gordo. So... Um, we need to, I think just the way to unlock that is basically by using a Gordo Snare, like the novice one, using it, maybe catching a Gordo, then we get an upgrade, stuff like that. Um, typically for them, you know, for you to be able to unlock to buy, um, other kind of lab stuff, <clears throat> you need to kind of use it first, um, or, so, or something like that. You need to use the lab more to be able to get more stuff, like the treasure cracker to unlock the next treasure pod crapper, uh, crapper, the <laughs> cracker, um, <laughs> We, um, we need to use the lab more and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I actually forget, but it was something along those lines, I believe. Um, the Q berries are for you guys. So I'm just going to feed you. There you go. Put all the Q berries in there. Another one in there. Um, and we'll grab the heartbeats real quick as well. Just get these guys. Um, there is so much, honestly, for us to use the lab or like build with the lab that we really haven't at the moment. Um, which is really interesting. There's just like so much there. 
that we haven't even like touched yet with the game even though we've explored everything basically now when we've even reached like the end of the game we finished the game kind of but there's there's still a lot more for us to do um so i'm gonna leave these and we do have to leave um our apiaries and our drills and stuff like that to kind of do their thing so what we're gonna do in the meantime is go make some money and hopefully we can also purchase a um a 7z corporation upgrade thingamajig um as well because i i don't really sell my plots that often so i tend to not make a lot of money uh now i used to make a lot of money before um but then i kind of just like lost interest because i was like ah we've got to explore everything i've made a, a bunch of money you know i've been able to buy all my upgrades that i wanted and stuff like that but well like the vac pack upgrades we bought all of those really early on but uh, the 7Z upgrades, they go on for a while as far as I'm aware. I don't know how many there is, but I don't think we're even close to finishing them. So we're, those are probably what we're good at. Like that's the thing about it, that and like the few blueprints left in the lab are the only things to ever spend money on now. Um, but we need a lot of money to get the 7Z upgrades. Like the next one I think is like 14 grand or something like that. And there's like more after that one. So right, let's just see exactly how much it costs. Uh, 7Z Rewards Club. So we get a slime trophy. It's 15 grand. And then we move from uh, Playful Fox 3 to Silver Storm 1. So uh, maybe there's like 20 ranks, 25 ranks, I'm assuming. Any more than that, it kind of gets ridiculous, but we'll see. Oh, what I've also done, I will grab these and show you what we've got going on in the grotto. Um, just grab some pickle pears. I probably made way too many pickle pears, to be honest. We're not going to be having that many dervish slime uh, corrals. But uh, we've got this over here. So um, this was a quantum crystal, uh, larger corral, and uh, I removed it. And I managed to get rid of all of the quantum crystal largers because they were so annoying. Um, it was not worth having them. They just teleported all over the place. I could not control them. They were annoying me. So um, we do have our two dervish plots over here. Uh, this one is crystal dervish and this one is tangle dervish. Um, and they're going to be getting us a lot of, oh my god, these are completely full. <gasps> that is so much money. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, we're going to be getting so much money. So much money. I didn't realize how much I'd fed these guys. I was wondering why this was completely full. Okay, this is pretty much where we're going to be making all our money for the episode. Wow, this is like... We've got 100 Dervish and 100 Tangle just in the machine. And then there's more in here. There's maybe like... Wait, let's see. I'm going to empty these out at least to, you know, 50. And then we're going to suck them all up and see how many ones were just lying around in the corral. Uh, looks like 43. 43 of each. So that's a lot. Actually, it looks like more like it was 44. Um, so <laughs> there's like 100, nearly 150 plots each of Dervish and Tangle. So 300 plots times what? They're nearly like 100 gold each. Let's see here. So Dervish, oh, Dervish went way down. Um, and Tangle is 80. Wait, why is Dervish so low? Damn, all right. And uh, Mosaic was like over 100 last episode. Now it's down to 74. But um, we're going to sell all these. Ooh, um, rad, rad plots are up at 55. That's not too bad. We do have a whole like uh, rad corral over here, rad boom, that we like completely ignore. We, it, has no, it has no food in it at the moment. Um, what should we do with these phase lemons? I should definitely feed these to someone. Or I could just get rid of them. Uh, I don't know. We'll leave them there for now. Uh, oh, right. Wait, don't they eat? Wait, who eats mint mangoes? Oh, it's the honey ones. All right, so we'll just go feed these to the honey guys over there. Um, what were we feeding the rad, the rad booms? Oka Okas? It must have been Oka Okas, yeah. Well, we might actually get rid of that pen and replace it with... I don't know. We're definitely not growing any Oka Okas in the moment. We, we could. I don't see a problem with growing some Oka Okas. Also very fun to say Oka Oka. <laughs> Um, okay, we'll just fill this up a little bit, and we'll put these 10 in here. Alright, those are gonna eat up, that's fine. Alright, let's go make, go make some money. Go make some moonies. Um, oh, I, I should have done this at the start of the episode, but I'll mention it now while we're doing some, uh, running. Is, uh, if you guys really enjoy Slime Rancher, of course, uh, I just want to remind you guys, don't forget to leave a like on the episode. It really does make the difference. It really does help. Um, also leave comments. I love reading your comments, um, but, uh, it's a little bit harder to ask for comments. For Pixelmon, I used to just say, oh, leave a, your Minecraft username, I'll make you into a statue. You know, leave a rename for, you know, one of the Pokemon, stuff like that. For Slime Rancher and other games, it's, it's really difficult to uh, kind of ask for comments besides just feedback and stuff like that. So, um, but I love reading them anyway. And there was actually one more thing that I want to start kind of 
uh, mentioning and reminding people about that I've never really done before. Um, that I started doing more myself, like watching other people's YouTube channels, is uh, the, the the notifications thing for subscribers, uh, like you know, for subscribing to channels. Um, when you're on the, I, I, I'm assuming most of you guys have subscribed, which is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, on the subscribe button under my video, there is a little 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 bit on the end that's like a it's like a bell. If you click that and enable notifications, you guys get notifications basically whenever I upload a video. Um, so if you guys really enjoy my stuff, you always watch my videos. Thank you so much. And there's a there's a better way to know exactly when I upload. It gets sent to your phone or um, if you're on YouTube already, it's got like the little notification in the corner that I've uploaded. So you never miss an upload ever again. Um, so if you guys really like my stuff, that would also super help me out because I'd love for you guys to know exactly when I'm uploading. Um, now, by that, what is, what did we just get? What, we got, a, we got a trophy. Is that like in our inventory or something? Uh, do I have an inventory? Do I have an inventory? I don't know. Wait, T. Wait, wait, can I check my... Wait, let's see this. Nope. I, okay, wait, what was the trophy thing? I just got a slime trophy. I don't know what that... I don't know what that was. Is that something that's like around the farm somewhere? Uh... Uh... I should... I should Google it or something. Slime trophy. That's all it said. Oh, there it is. Oh, geez. Okay, that's awesome. Can I do anything with it? Nope. It just, it's just there for, for pretty looks. Alrighty. We can't move it or anything? That kind of sucks. Alrighty. We still have more money to make. Um, we will go check on our drills and our apiaries and stuff soon. Uh, they should be nearly done, if not completely finished. I actually don't have any drills. It's just uh, three pumps and <clears throat> the apiary. We have a lot of pumps just because I really want that deep brine. Because that's how we're going to get our first teleporter is deep brine. Alright. We've nearly cleared out this corral. It is nearly done. Thank God. Alrighty, we'll get this one. And then there's the other corral over there. I don't know if that's been fed much, though. I'm not too sure. Um, we can just chuck a bunch of pickle pears in there. So easy. Oh, yeah, this has got tons. This has got tons. Alrighty. Not much crystals. A lot of dervish. We can only take five out at the moment. There we go. Alright. Um, we will go chuck these in. We can probably get another 7Z Corporation upgrade. Um, I didn't realize that there were so many plots back there. I thought most of these corrals were empty. Um, so that's why I was kind of aiming for just one upgrade, but it looks like we're going to be able to get two, thanks to those two corrals. Alrighty, let's just put all these dervish plots in. I mean, they're still, like, 50, 50 gold each, even if they're, they're seeming kind of low. Um, we do need to get a mosaic corral. That's probably the last corral we need to get is mosaic. I'll probably just do mosaic dervish again, um, just because the pickle, pie, uh, pickle pears are pretty easy to do. Um, what was the other food, though? Slimepedia... What do mosaic ones eat? I forget. Silver parsnips. If we can get some silver parsnips, maybe we'll just mix mosaic with like tangle maybe or something. Um, I guess, I mean, that'd be the only one I'd see. We just mix the, these two together. That'd make good some good money. Um, now, should we go to sleep? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. Sleep until morning. We are past 50 days in the game, by the way. That's pretty cool. Episode 21, day 51. Um, how are you guys going? Yeah, you got some you got some plots going on. We're gonna leave you guys for now. Um, actually, I'll go over to check these pumps first before we check the other ones. Because the other ones are already on our way to the lab anyway. They're like right in front, so we'll check these ones first. Alrighty, so you should both be done. Uh yes, we got some deep brain and we got some lava dust. So I think that's a more that's a rare resource. Um we got a bunch of deep brine now. That should be enough for the teleporter. Uh, the only thing we need now is Ah, what was it called? It was uh, from the AP area. We need... I forget what it's called, actually. I can picture it in my head, but I cannot remember what it's called. Um, oh, hexacomb. Hexacomb is what we need. So we will chuck all of these into our refinery, and we'll check how much hexacomb we need left. Uh, we may make another AP area just to kind of speed that up, hopefully. Um, there we go. We'll take all of that. Oh, you're burst. Okay, cool. And you'll probably burst as well. I think you. I made you. Oh, oh no, I didn't make you both at the same time. All right, you've got one more cycle left in you. Oh, I can't take those. Right. We should put these in. All right. You know, we did get some hexacombs, but I don't, I don't know if it was enough. Uh, man, they really blend into the ground. All right. So we get more buzz wax than hexacomb. But let's see. Let's see if we can make a teleporter yet. Warp tech, pink teleporter. Oh, we can. Yes, we just need some pink plots. All righty. Suck these bad boys up. <laughs> Alrighty, that was, that was an interesting sound bite. Uh, okay, take all of these. We can finally make our first teleporter. Oh my god, I'm going to make this 
Uh, I'm assuming you can place them anywhere. So I'm going to make that uh, one go straight to the glass desert, I think. Because that's the furthest one. Everything else is going to be a lot easier. If we have our teleporters on both sides of the map. Um, warp tap, ping teleporter, fabricate. Woo. Woo. We have ourselves a pink teleporter. Alrighty. So we can only have one pink teleporter. Then we have to make a blue one, a gray one. And then there is also a, um, a butterscotch one that we can make over here if we uh, purchase it. But I don't want to spend the money yet. I'm tempted to buy this. We have the money to buy this. This might be better than buying the... 7Z upgrade, because you just get some chromas for that. This is googly. Fashion plots allow you to vac up fashionable accessories for your slimes. Shoot them onto slimes to totally up their game. I think this is necessary. I think we needed to buy that. Um, now, which one is it? Decorations? Curio curios. Okay, so we need royal jelly. Ugh, see, that's rare. And where does that spawn? Royal jelly. Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, but it's rare. Hexacombs. Um, and the rest we can all do. So we do need some more deep brine and we need hexacombs and royal jelly. So that's something for the future. That's me planning for the future right now. Actually, we are going to make something though. We are going to make uh, another advanced apiary. We need more pink plots. God damn it. See, this is why I need so many pink plots. Uh, can I feed you guys again? We are going to have to make sure that these guys kept getting feed, fed. Feed fed. Um, because... Yeah, we just need a continuous, like, string of pink pink plots. You guys just aren't hungry, are you? Okay. Well, I'll chuck these in here. So it feeds you later on. We'll grab these ones as well so it continues to feed you. Uh, And it looks like we won't be able to... I mean, we'll make some progress towards the googly eyes. I think it's very important uh, for, the, for the lore of the game, for the story of the game. <laughs> it's very important for us to get some googly eyes. Uh, but for now, we'll just set up. I think for the rest of the episode, we are good to set up the uh, teleport. Actually, I'll just do these Q-berries real quick. Real quick, get them out of the way. Um, I feel like we're missing we're missing a Q-berry. There it is. Alrighty. So, are you guys hungry? Ah, it's alright. I'll put them in here for now. It'll feed you. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, we'll want to put the pink teleport. I mean, all of our teleporters will want in the main area of our ranch. Just makes it easier for us. Um, so, let's see here. Where is a good place for it? Um, so I guess we can put teleporter there, teleporter there, teleporter there, teleporter there. And we got two teleporter places here. Three teleporter places. I think we should save those. We'll just put them over here for now. So E to activate, we'll put one pink teleporter. And then we need to put the other one somewhere. Can I just put it here? Oh, I can just put it there. How dumb. That's funny. Alrighty, we can just put the other one here and teleport between there and there. Uh, but no, we're going to be making that a journey towards... <clears throat> um, oh, my, my voice hurts so much right now. I don't know why. It's alright. I should be able to go for another five minutes. We're going to head down to uh, the glass desert. And that's where we're going to put the second one. Do we put it? I'm trying to think. Where in the glass desert should we put it? I'm feeling... Oh, by the way, I got um, the map info thingy for uh, the dry reef. And for the over... Over something... The overgrowth? I think that's just what it's called. So I got those. The only one left is... What's the other area called? The, 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 um, Indigo Quarry. That's the only one left, I believe. So, um, but yeah, I think we'll put it probably somewhere in the middle. Maybe where that, oh, hmm, no, we shouldn't put it next to this teleporter because that teleporter's, maybe we should put it further up, maybe like up there somewhere. I don't think right at the end is really useful. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So we gotta go, we gotta make a bit of a trek. Um, you know what? I actually might cut the video so you guys don't have to watch me walk all the way there. Alrighty, uh, we made it all the way to the glass desert and then I went a little bit deeper. We are currently right here. I think around here is the perfect spot, probably in this little oasis. I've also been collecting, um, some mosaic slimes to bring back because we, as I said before, we still do need a mosaic, uh, corral going on. Um, but where is a good place for this teleporter? We need to, uh, somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. Oh, we can't actually put it in the, mo uh, in the, um, the oasis. There doesn't seem to be a place for it. That's all right. We'll do one right here. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Oh, God. All right. Uh, install the pink teleporter. There we go. We have a teleporter from here. Go all the way back to our ranch. It's perfect. We now never have to... Oh, God. This is so nice. It's so nice to be able to go between them without having to make that long journey. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, and now we're just going to be setting up teleporters throughout the rest of the series uh, in uh, other places. Um, just so it's easier to get to, like, the overgrowth or easier to get to the indigo quarry or, or stuff like that. Um, but with the hardest place to get to is now the easiest place to get to. 
Uh, look how many pickle pears we have. Oh my god. These pickle pears are like... Oh, I, I made too many of them, honestly. I, I probably need to get rid of one of those farms and make it something else. Uh, but for now, we will just stock up these guys because they're making us a bunch of money. Like a bunch of money. We'll put 25 in here. Um, 25 should fill up the the thing. Because you get double, so that's 50 plots of each. Oh, no, wait, you can fill it up with 100. So, yeah, you need uh, you need 50 prickle pears to work fully. Um, so, yeah, let's just sell these, and then we will go check on our pumps and uh, the apiary as well. And then, I don't know, we got to decide what we want to kind of make next. What's our next goal? Um, if there's something specifically that you guys want to see me do now that we've kind of going to the, the post-game part of the series, um, let me know in the comments, of course. Uh, let me know just, like, what you guys would prefer to see. Um, right now, like, you want to see us continue to work on our lab sort of stuff? And, uh, or do you want to see us? I've just realized. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, so when I brought, I paused the video, or not paused the video, but when I cut the video to go from here to, um, the glass desert, I was playing music on in the background, and I don't think I stopped that music when I came back to the recording. I did stop it just then. Yeah, it was playing the entire time. I don't know. You guys could probably hear it. It was like some Kendrick Lamar stuff. Um, I'm just going to leave that in the video. I think it's faint enough that it's not going to get picked up by any copyright stuff. And you may not have even noticed it. Um, I'll see in editing whether I do anything with it. Anyway, what was I talking about? I got completely distracted. Um, what we're going to be doing next, just let me know. I don't know if I said anything after that. I, I completely forgot. Uh, let's go check on our pumps real quick because we do have to wrap up this episode. Um, but we've, we've made some really good project. Uh, project. We're really good progress with the lab sort of stuff. Oh my god, you still need 50 seconds, really? All right, well, we've got to we've got to waste some time. Why don't we make this mosaic mosaic slime uh, sort of corral? Uh, we'll make it in the we'll make it down in the grotto, um, just because there is some empty empty corrals and stuff there. We'll put all these mint mangoes in there. Why not? Just to kind of get rid of that of our inventory. Um, now we're gonna mix mosaic with. I mean, if we have all of these prickle pears, we may as well mix mosaic with dervish. Although, didn't we say that Mosaic mixed with uh, Tangle would actually be better? I think Mosaic and Tangle would be good. But what would we feed it? Oh, wait, we need to find the... Ah, uh, uh, we need to find that Silver Parsnip. Okay. Um, I, wait, maybe I'll do some Googling and figure out where, where we can get that. Um, I'll just quickly turn them into the Tangle, the tangle thingamajigs. Uh, oh, we don't have enough. Suck up some more plots. Is there more plots in there? God damn it. There's a bunch of food in there, you're just not eating it. Um, that's alright. We will figure it out. Alright, Tangle. There we go. Oh my god, they look so nice! Look at them! Oh, the mosaic slimes are so good looking. Um, alrighty, so... I'm trying to think. Yeah, Silver Parsnips is what we need. I'm assuming it spawns in the glass desert somewhere. I've just not... I'm pretty sure I've even found one, I just never grew one. So, what we might do, I'm just gonna sell these plots right here. Uh, we will... Nah, we're not gonna go to sleep. We don't need to go to sleep. Psh. Let's just go running in the nighttime. Oh my god, we can just go straight to the glass desert like that. It's so convenient. Alrighty. Um, I think they do spawn here. I would assume so. Because this is where the mosaic slimes come from. So you would assume that their favorite food, like other slimes, is in the kind of area that they come from. But I cannot seem to find it at all. Or maybe in here. All we need is one, baby. All we need is one. <gasps> yes, I'm so lucky. Oh my god. Alright, let's head home. That was so easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go create this farm real quick. Um, and yeah, and then we've got the silver parsnips for our mosaic corral. Um, and then we're all good. We pretty much have every single slime and nearly every larger. There's some largers we don't have because we don't really need them. Um, but uh, we've got pretty much every slime is part of a larger, except for the quantum ones, because they're just annoying. We're just not going to be farming quantum plots at all. It'll be the only thing we don't farm. But everything else we've got going on, which is good. Um, oh, we have another one over there. Maybe we should put... Uh, oh, no, actually, we were going to put an incinerator over here and get some fire slimes going. Yeah, I don't know how this works, to be honest. Can I upgrade this? Astro. Nashua allows you to collect the ash of incinerated food at a space which is eaten exclusively by fire slimes. It's gross. We've got the ash troughs. So we just need to, I mean, I don't know how this works, to be honest. Uh, but I'll figure it out before the next episode. I just wanted to make an incinerator there um, so we can do some kind of fire slime stuff. 
uh, soon. Now, have you guys eaten yet? I really wanted to finish that corral over there. You guys need to eat so I can get your plots. There is one plot here for some reason. Eat! Eat! Wait, how many is there? One, one, two, three, four, five. We should make more of these. Because there is like nearly 10 or something in there. How are you not a larger yet? What? 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 There's no crystal plots in there either. All right, I'm going to sort that out. Um, I do need to end this episode, though. I'm dragging it on way too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like down below, of course. Um, don't forget to leave a comment as well. Let me know what you'd like to see me do next in Slime Rancher. And uh, lastly, don't forget to subscribe. Click the little notification button as well so you guys are always uh, noticed when I upload my next video. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.